In the year 701 BC, King Hezekiah led the people of Judah back to God. King Sennacherib of superpower Assyria reacted by marching on Judah with the intent of occupying it. Sennacherib's supposedly invincible army laid siege to Lachish, the kingdom's second most important city. In the early 1900s, the land of Israel was desolate and empty, largely a desert. Centuries of abuse had robbed the land of its forests, vegetation, and natural beauty. In 1901, Keren Kayamet Le Israel Jewish National Fund was established and began raising money to purchase tracts of land throughout their ancient homeland. As the guardians of the land of promise, they have now planted over 250 million trees and develop the land in many other ways. KKL JNF also located, researched, and restored many of Israel's unique archeological and historical sites. The land flowing with milk and honey is being restored to its former beauty. 41 kilometers south of Jerusalem lies the remains of the once mighty city of Lachish in territory given to the tribe of Judah on the outskirts of a forest planted by KKL JNF. King Sennacherib besieged this fortress on his march to Jerusalem. Hezekiah's acts of righteousness and his resolve to do what was right in the eyes of God were followed by this fierce, hostile attack. Sennacherib took part of his army and threatened Jerusalem as well. Hezekiah called to God in his desperation. The Almighty God answered through the prophet Isaiah. In 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 34, we read, I will defend this city and save it for my sake and for the sake of David, my servant. 2 Kings then describes how an angel of the Lord went out and put to death 185,000 Assyrians. Meanwhile, back in Lachish, Sennacherib's other troops had launched an attack on the city. Traces of this attack can still be seen today in Lachish. I'm standing on the wall of uh, Lachish, and you, as you can see, the, the slope below the wall extends all the way down into the valley. It's very steep. And Sennacherib, it, back in 701 BC, had a bit of a problem. He wanted to capture Lachish. He came here with the Assyrians, and the Assyrian troops were out there where the trees are. He wants to break into the city, and he's got a bit of a problem. So he created a ramp with rubble and soil and everything, heaped it up, and over the ramp, the troops were able then to break into the city, capture it, and then destroy it. The destruction of Lachish is well documented in extra biblical sources. These rediscovered stone panels used as reliefs represent an Assyrian account of the siege. They clearly depict how the city was conquered and its inhabitants either executed or taken into exile. Long after the memory of Sennacherib and his deeds have dimmed, the people of Israel live on. Hezekiah paid a heavy price for his faithfulness to God. Lachish was lost, but in the end, Jerusalem had been saved.